improving your your effectiveness and i think uh this is this is the challenging thing for most of us you know is being able to take feedback uh you know we've talked about the things that can make a timeout good but we're all going to make mistakes at different times you know we're all going to look back and uh think we could have done something better but sometimes we need to have someone maybe film your timeout you know stand behind there and then you can go away and review the film, have a look at it. Are you honest with yourself? How, how did you communicate there? Did you have everybody's uh, contact? Did you, did you have their eye contact? Were people engaged? Were there people doing things they shouldn't be doing? How was the way you, excuse me, how was the way you fed them back? Did you do a good job of that? Or did you just you know, go off on a tangent and not really give much uh, feedback? Asking the players or assistants to, to give you some honest feedback. Um, in the past, I've used, I often uh, always do a, a half yearly review where I ask questions like that. How is the feedback from me? And, and you know, obviously there's always going to be some disgruntled players and they might or be honest or they might say something that doesn't really mean much. But by being honest and asking for feedback from your players and, and especially your assistants and, and your willingness to take on board that information, I think really helps you understand how to be more effective in your timeout. As I said, that's the big thing is to be prepared for honest feedback and, ex and accept it for what it is. It's just feedback and information to try and evaluate the way you talk to your team and the way you know, you're, you're giving the feedback, how you're using your timeouts. And, you know, I think that's a really important thing to do because as I said, timeouts are so, so important. And, and I'll talk about some of those when we talk about end of game situations. Watching other coaches and how they handle the timeouts, you know, with, with today's media platforms, you know, we're so lucky to be able to, and, and particularly watching the Australian NBL, being able to, be right in amongst the huddle and listening to the different coaches and, and, and how they give their information back. And, uh, you know, and I love to watch that and, and go back and review it and think to myself, how would I have handled that situation? You know, would, would I have said what that coach said or would I have handled it differently? Or would I have taken that opportunity be the time to be, be maybe a little more animated or would I have been calmer or how would I have, given that information and then by doing that, you know, you're practicing in your own time and you're starting to feed back and put yourself in those situations. 